The manual cleaning and disinfection of environmental services in oral health services are essential elements of infection prevention and control, especially during the COVID-19 pandemic. Certain medical procedures produce aerosols, which can contaminate a number of environmental surfaces and increase the risk of virus transmission to dental providers or patients through direct inhalation or contact with contaminated surfaces. Studies have shown that COVID-19 can persist on metal, glass or plastic surfaces for a number of hours, becoming a potential source of virus transmission. After every patient, the dental assistant must carry out a cycle of standard cleaning and disinfection based on Standard Operating Procedures, SOP. The assistant should be dressed in appropriate PPE. Cleaning with a detergent is an essential first step as it helps to remove or significantly reduce pathogens on contaminated surfaces. The dental chair should be cleaned between each patient from the cleanest to the dirtiest areas and from the highest to lowest levels. High-touch surfaces such as door handles, chairs, phones and desks must also be cleaned regularly. The second essential step is applying a chemical disinfectant to kill any remaining microorganisms. The World Health Organization recommends using 70% ethyl alcohol to disinfect small surface areas and equipment between uses. This includes reusable dedicated equipment or equipment that does not tolerate chlorine. A 0.1% solution of sodium hydrochloride can be used for disinfecting larger surfaces, while a stronger 0.5% solution can be used for large blood or bodily fluid spills. The use of other disinfectants should meet local authorities' requirements. Two-in-one step products clean and disinfect at the same time, but must be used according to the manufacturer's instructions. Fresh cloths must be used at the start of each cleaning and disinfecting session. These should be laundered appropriately or disposed of properly after use. For areas considered to be high risk of COVID-19 virus contamination, new cloths must be used between each patient. All dental instruments, devices and equipment must follow all the steps of a processing cycle. The first step is soaking instruments in soapy water as soon as possible after the procedure. This helps to prolong the life of surgical instruments as dried blood and saline can damage stainless steel and make instruments much more difficult to clean. If detergent-based products are used, ensure they are mixed in the correct dilution. The soaking of instruments in 0.5% chlorine solution or any other disinfectant before cleaning is not recommended. Cleaning comes next. This is the most essential step before any process of sterilization can be carried out. Instruments can be cleaned manually or mechanically using water and detergents. Rinsing removes loosened soil and residual detergent. Drying is also an important step that prevents microbial growth. Devices should be dried by hand with a clean non-linting cloth, preferably single use. Prior to sterilization, the instruments must be inspected and packaged. Packaging techniques are designed to hold and protect the instruments in order to facilitate sterilization and to maintain sterility at the point of use. Commonly used sterilization wraps include single-use bleached crepe paper and wraps combining cellulose and synthetic fibers. Reusable woven cotton or cotton polyester material can be used but they are less resistant as a bacterial barrier than sterilization wraps. Packages to be sterilized should be labeled before sterilization. This information on the label should include the name of the instruments and the expiry or sterilization date. Sterilization eliminates all disease-producing microorganisms, including the COVID-19 virus. For dental instruments, 
the preferred method is steam sterilization, using saturated steam under pressure as a sterilizing agent. The World Health Organization does not recommend dry heat or chemicals for the routine sterilization of dental instruments. Ultraviolet light and boiling water should also be avoided, as they do not sterilize instruments. Sterilized instruments should be stored in closed cabinets in low dust areas. Healthcare waste must also be managed by following best practices, routine policies and procedures. About 15% of the waste produced during patient oral health care is regarded as hazardous. Because it can pose health and environmental risks, it should be collected safely in clearly marked lined containers and shop safe boxes. In addition, floors should be cleaned and disinfected at least once daily, and also after any soilage from blood, bodily fluids or chemical spills. In all oral healthcare facilities, posters and other guidance materials should be visible to staff in charge of infection prevention and control, to guide and remind them about proper procedures. By following the right steps, we can continue providing essential oral healthcare services during COVID-19 while keeping our staff and patients safe.